The self-styled caliphate spreading across Syria and Iraq is redrawing the boundaries in the Middle East and creating huge unease both there and in the West. Islamic State, as ISIS now brand themselves, control significant parts of Iraq and Syria, including cities, oil fields and border crossings. At the centre of the group is this man, Abu Bakr Baghdadi. Islamic State fighters now pledge allegiance to him directly. His only public appearance has been from a mosque in Mosul last month. The reaction from ISIS supporters is precisely what you'd expect from a cult of personal, uh, of, of, of a cult that uh, is uh, just never-ending praise for, for Baghdadi and this absolute uncritical admiration of him. Uh, it's uh, indicative really of just uh, uh, of how much I think uh, the Islamic State resembles uh, a classic cult. With the declaration of a caliphate, Baghdadi is now in many ways the new figurehead of global jihad. Vice magazine recently filmed celebrations amongst his supporters, but the declaration also brought Baghdadi into conflict with others in the jihadist sphere, notably Al-Qaeda. Although born out of the remnants of Al-Qaeda in Iraq, Islamic State has fought with the officially sanctioned Al-Qaeda affiliate in Syria. Just like Baghdadi, the founder of the Islamic State's predecessor in Iraq, this man, Abu Musab Zakawi, had a tense relationship with Al-Qaeda. He was famed for indiscriminate bombings and videoing beheadings of his captives, tactics Al-Qaeda criticised for being too extreme. Baghdadi, though, appears to favour the brutal approach. These pictures are of captured Iraqi Shia soldiers before they were massacred. Al-Qaeda was very unhappy with Zarqawi because he was killing a lot of Muslims, he was engaging in brutally violent, excessive tactics, and because he was killing a lot of Shias, a lot of things that they considered to be unproductive. But they didn't stop. And Baghdadi today is the heir of that tradition, is the heir of that approach, which is completely different from Al-Qaeda centrals in terms of tactics, in terms of strategy, and even ideology. <laughs> Vice magazine filmed the Islamic State morality police on patrol. Unlike his predecessor, Baghdadi and the Islamic State have been far more involved in the governing of a functioning state, even producing detailed financial accounts. I think for ISIS to be able to control territory in two different countries with a large number of fighters requires a very high degree of organisational sophistication. And their record keeping is part of that. Al-Qaeda kept records as well, but for ISIS to do it on the scale they've done with the precision they've done certainly suggests a level of sophistication and meticulousness that is very impressive. The test now for Baghdadi and the Islamic State is whether alongside their military gains they can keep hold of their territories without alienating the populations underneath their control.